The Supreme Court released two major rulings today as justices wrap up the session. Now, one case involves emergency abortion access in Idaho. Yeah, the other rejecting a major settlement over the opioid crisis. Washington correspondent Trevor Shirley breaks down those decisions. And that case involving emergency abortion access was accidentally posted yesterday online by the court before being removed. That case is out of Idaho. It involves whether federal law requires hospitals to provide abortions in emergency situations, even if state law bans the procedure outright. Today, the court dismissed the case, essentially saying the parties involved need to do more work before it's ready to appear before the Supreme Court. Some of the justices argued the court should never have taken the case to begin with. For now, Idaho hospitals will be allowed to perform emergency abortions under federal law even as state law bans the procedure. The court also blocked a massive settlement deal involving Purdue Pharma with a 5-4 to four vote. Under a bankruptcy deal already worked out, the Sackler family, which owns Purdue Pharma, makers of the opioid drug OxyContin, had agreed to pay out $6 billion in settlement money to victims of opioid addiction and their families. That agreement also protected the Sackler family from any future liability. Today, though, the Supreme Court decided lower courts did not have the authority to include those protections for the family. That means settlement talks in the massive years-long case will have to start over, with victims waiting even longer to get a settlement if they ever get one at all. And the court still has several other major cases to rule on, including the case involving former President Donald Trump's claims of immunity from prosecution. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley.